Module 7, Part 2, Automate Solution Management. Hello, I'm Peter Myers, and in this demonstration I will run some PowerShell scripts to automate setup of Azure AD objects and Power BI artifacts. Here in the PowerShell ISC, or Integrated Scripting Environment, I have a first script open. It will install two modules. Let me go ahead and run. At step one, it will install the Azure Active Directory PowerShell and Graph module. And then at step two, it will install the Power BI Management module. As it happens, they've both already been installed. So I switch to the second script. Notice that lines 9 through 21, they're just the settings. I'm going to create a new app named Sales Reporting V2. It will use the existing security group that I demonstrated earlier, and it will result in a new workspace in Power BI named Sales Reports V2. It will be uploading the Power BI desktop file that I created earlier. Now the first part then at line 32 is to set up Azure AD. Having connected to Azure AD and testing that that security group exists, it begins at line 51 by creating an app secret. At line 61, it creates the Azure AD app using that secret. And then at line 72, creates the app's service principal. At line 78, it assigns the current user as the app owner. And then at line 81, it adds the service principal of the new app as a member of the Power BI app security group. The next part is to set up Power BI. So at line 88, it connects and authenticates with the Power BI service. And then at line 90, it creates the new workspace. At line 99, it adds the service principal as a workspace admin. At line 108, it imports the Power BI desktop file. And then at line 111, it produces an output app settings file. And that file will contain all of the configurations that I can just simply copy into the Visual Studio Code web app solution and then test it against the new version of the Power BI artifacts. All right, let's go ahead and run this entire script. Okay, I'm required to sign in, so I will use my account and password. And now I'm prompted to sign in again, this time for the Power BI service. I then see the app settings that have been created. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that to the clipboard. Let's switch across to Power BI and see that I have now a new workspace, Sales Reports V2, with the content already uploaded. So I now switch to Visual Studio Code, open up the app settings, and paste in the new settings that use the new workspace. I save, close, and press F5 to run the application. And sure enough, the application works, and I've just got the one report now that has just been published.